All right, guys, so I got the Prada here, and I got this sun visor that I bought off uh, Marketplace for 50 bucks. It's actually for a Datsun, um, but what I'm gonna try and do is custom fit it to my gutter mounts, and it's just got two screws there on each side. You know, the thing is, this was 50 bucks. If I bought one for my car, it was gonna be $400. So that's a really good reason why I've decided to um, try and custom fit it. So. And the idea is I'm going to paint it black as well because the one over here is alloy at the moment. So what I'm going to do is use this bracket here. And I'm going to sort of just cut and figure something out. I'm going to make it work. But yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. Massive progress since last video. So pretty much I've made this bracket. Now it looks a bit weird, but pretty much it's three pieces of this L-shaped uh, alloy. And just by chance, the two holes that are in here fit perfectly on here like that so which means all that you have to do is get washers and bolts and that will fit on there now I've, I've taped it together just as an example but if I get washers and bolts for these two holes the bottom two and the top two this will go in here like that and then I'm gonna mount this bottom part into the bottom of the door so if I go in here it's gonna be mounted in sort of like that um, which you currently see so there'll be two, you can't even see that at all. There'll be two bolts up in there, which will go right in, right into there. And then this will sit on the roof like that. And it doesn't look too silly, but it's the best I sort of can do. So it'll sort of be in there like that, um, except it won't work now because the door's closed. Um, but yeah, and then it will go over both sides. And in this top bracket, I can just bend out a little bit to allow for the angle on the uh, sun visor over there. Okay guys, so now we've got the brackets on the sides, as you can see here. Now it looks a bit goofy, but pretty much this is how it's going to be mounted on the roof. So, I've just taped it on right now to hold it together. But, if you come over here, this will go on the roof, like so. Now I've already shown you before, but um, once that's all hooked to the fan, it should work. So now we're going to go to Mitre 10, I'm going to get some little bolts and uh, washers and little nuts for this. And then, what we're going to do is, it, it still won't fit directly perfect, so we're gonna have to get some. Uh, we're gonna have to probably bend the metal on a vise, but we'll see how we go. But yeah, super stoked with it and how it's turning out and seeing how it works. Hopefully, it won't look too ridiculous. All right, guys, so here are the bolts I've got. Now, as you can see, it's got a Phillips head on the top and then a washer in the middle and a nut on the bottom. And yeah, pretty much these will go on here, like so. And pretty much what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to drill a hole through this um, little uh, metal part here so this bolt can go through um, and support it. So this is what I've got like now, this is just some spaces uh, of these washers just to space it out a bit. Now you can see I need to get more height off the windshield. So what I'm going to do is, this bracket I'm actually going to bend at an angle so it can hook around better because right now it's not working. but. This won't be the final product, this is just so I can get an idea of how much spacing I need, but um, it does look a bit goofy. Okay guys, so now I'm just doing some painting. Now I've just gone over with this grey primer here, just over the brackets. And this is sort of what they're looking like now, just drying off. And I've also done the little spaces down there. Um, and then once that dries, we're going to go over it with this, um, this matte black uh, finish. And um, this is what I used on my flares of my car and most of my car, so that will match the flares which will look nice and yeah here they are just all drying out here I've, I've kept them separate so this is the right side of the car and this is the left side so I don't get, don't get confused because some of them have bends in them like that one as you can see so yeah all going well and I hope these will dry soon Okay guys, I've just been painting them now. They've come along real nice. I'm um, just using this paint over here, which I've already said before. But now all I'm gonna do is let that dry, and then I'll be putting in another coat probably sometime during the week, and then we'll piece it all together. Okay guys, we're just gonna spray it with some of this primer now. So um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, that's the top side almost done. Now we're gonna do the other side.
Here I'm just putting on the first coat of paint. I'm just doing a bit of a rough sort of job of it because really you want to let that dry and then you can do another one after that. But um, probably give it like three or four coats. And yeah, I'm starting to do another side as well. But yeah, I think it'll look really good once it's done. All right, what's up guys? It's actually a different day and I'm just going to show you how this goes on. So this is the finished product. If you come over here, I'll just show you. So pretty much I've drilled these holes and they've got um, some nail polish in there and they've been painted over a bit so they're, they're not going to rust. Um, so this will go over like this and then pretty much these bolts will go up through here like so. If you come over here you can look at that. So it's going to sort of look like that. So pretty seamless, pretty... Um, and then what I'm going to have to do is put a washer and bolt up in there and the sun visor will connect up there. So yeah, that's how it's going to look like. I'll do this on both sides and then pretty much after that um, we can actually put the actual sun visor on itself. Now, none of these nuts are nylon nuts, so the nuts that we put on the actual sun visor itself will be nylon to stop the vibrations when I'm full driving. But yeah, so we'll see how it goes now. We'll put on the sun visor. Alright, guys, it's now installed on the car. If you just come over here, I can just show what's going on. So, this is what it looks like for now, but we've got the bracket here, and we've got nylon nuts up here, nylon nuts down here, and then these nuts here and here are just normal, but we shouldn't need them because we've got four nylon nuts at that point. Um, it's pretty strong, I could put stuff on there and it'll be fine, but there you go, that's a custom fitted Daihatsu metal sun visor on a Prada 90 series. So, I'm stoked with it, um, I think it looks pretty good, and the, the colour looks good, the black, and it matches everything else. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.